How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to a Streamlabs OBS tutorial video where I'm going to be showing you how to import and export your scene collections between Streamlabs OBS as well as OBS Studio. It's very easy to do. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Streamlabs OBS and we're going to go to our area for our scenes, which is over here on the left hand side. We're going to click the drop down and you're going to see this thing that says manage all. So click on that. It's going to bring up all of your scene collections that you're going to manage. And what we're going to want to do is import all of our stuff from the OBS studio. So when you click on import from OBS, it's going to gather all of your scene collections, all of the sources from OBS studio, and it's going to bring them over to your Streamlabs. So now you'll be able to see which ones were brought over. You'll see ones that were saying updated a few seconds ago, updated a couple minutes ago and stuff like that. So you'll know which ones got brought over. Now, obviously I have duplicates because I left some of them on here, but you can see that I brought in like three or four extra ones. So once you have those brought in, go ahead and click on the X and we're going to click on that drop down arrow again, and you'll be able to see all of them that you can kind of go through. Now that's pretty much it. Now, if you go into your settings, you do have your scene collections here. Now, if you wanted to export an overlay file to bring somewhere else, you could do that. Now the importing file, same thing. So if you ever got a design from like a, a website, you could then import that individual file. But what I want to show you is when you export a file and what it looks like so that way you guys know what to look for when you're trying to import a file as well. So if you wanted to export this one that I'm on right now, which is the Twitch overlay, click on export, and then we're going to just give it a name like Twitch overlay. If I could type and we're going to hit save. It's then going to say that it was successful. It's going to tell you the name for it and everything like that. So now if we wanted to import, this is what you're going to look for. You're going to look for the name. It's going to just look like a white sheet of paper with two arrows. This is going to be very similar to what you'll get from a designer. Just make sure it has the dot overlay at the end. So if I was to want to say, bring this one in, I'll click on that one because I'm importing. And then it's going to decompress that entire file and then bam there's your new one it's going to automatically select it. it's going to have all of the sources all the scenes all ready to go that is how simplistic it's going to be when it comes for streamlabs obs so let's jump over to obs studio and i'll show you a few things on what you can do over there too all right so now that we're inside our obs studio what we're going to do first is get this preview to stop doing the loop so I right click, disable the actual preview. So what we're gonna wanna do is then import our stuff over from our Streamlabs OBS. So we're gonna go into our settings. You can go to file settings, or you can click on the settings over here on the right hand side. On the generals tab, you're gonna scroll down until you see importers. You wanna make sure that the search known location for scene collections when importing is checked. If it's not, go ahead and check it, hit apply, hit okay. And we're going to go up to our scene collection and we're going to go to import. Now you'll be able to see every single overlay that you ever had on your Streamlabs OBS. So we're just going to go ahead and select one here and then hit import. Now it's not going to automatically unload it for you like you were able to see on your Streamlabs OBS. So we're going to go to scene collections and you should see it right here in the list. Now, another thing you can also do, and it's a plugin that I'm going to put inside the video description below for you guys to use. But if you go up to tools, there's a plugin for those of you guys who might want to use owned. So owned has some different stuff that you guys can use for your own stream overlays. If you're looking for something professional, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just an option out there for you. So if you find one that's free, like this Chroma one, just hit install free design. So once you have it all installed, we're going to go back to our scene collection and you should see both of them here. So that is pretty much how you get everything from your Streamlabs OBS over to OBS Studio and how you can take stuff from OBS Studio and bring it into Streamlabs OBS. If you ran into any problems during this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you're wanting to learn more tech stuff when it comes to streaming, take a look at some of the other content that I have on the channel. You can also reach out to me on Discord whenever I stream or also on my social media. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's talk about it in the comments if you need any help, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care.